Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something different. Um, I was browsing the internet and I came across this story. I never heard of it. So I thought I should take a look at it. And I thought I should share it with you guys. So let's get started. First I'm going to play a news clip. And then we'll finish it up. I want to start it over, sorry. Disappeared. Carrie Colton is still nowhere to be found. We were talking about this before the show. We remember this like it was yesterday. Absolutely. She would have been 45 years old today and only on Fox 19 now. Jessica Schmidt with Carrie's family and friends about their never ending search for answers. So we know that Carrie Culberson disappeared back in 1996 from Blanchester, Ohio. She and her car have never been seen since that day. Tonight, we're live in Milford, where we sat down with Carrie's mother on Carrie's birthday to find out how she and all of Carrie's loved ones are keeping their hope alive. More than two decades after Carrie Culberson disappeared, it's the what ifs that haunt her family and friends every single day, especially today on Carrie's 45th birthday. I feel like Carrie would have accomplished a lot by now, but I, you still wonder, you know, I wonder how many kids she might have, where she might be in her life, what she might look like now. Carrie's mother, Deb, says her daughter was truly someone special, bubbly, genuine, and fun. As the years go by, it's still hard for them to wrap their heads around her disappearance. August 28th, 1996, Carrie came home from a volleyball game with friends and then vanished. She and her car gone in the blink of an eye. It, it's something that's always on your mind. It wouldn't take long for authorities to pinpoint a main suspect, Carrie's ex-boyfriend, Vincent Doan, known for his violent tendencies. He went on trial for her kidnapping and murder. Prosecutors didn't have a body, but believes the evidence they had made it worth the risk. It paid off. Doan is serving a life sentence without parole. And they have seen visible signs of what he had done to her in the past. So when you know what he had done in the past, you can only imagine what could possibly have happened that night. Despite feeling justice was served in the courtroom, Carrie's family and friends can't help but feel lost. A part of them is missing. Their hearts no longer whole. You know, after 23 years, you've got to learn to have some peace. But complete peace, that'll never happen. Although we would like to bring her home and, and, and lay her to rest and have <coughs> services for her, it, she is what we want, you know. The time we lost with her is what is not replaceable. There have been numerous searches for Carrie's remains, even recent leads involving letters from prisons. The reason I have hope is because there are so many law, law enforcement officials who have so much invested in Carrie's case that they won't give up. While finding Carrie will not change what happened, it would give her a final resting place one that her family believes she's always deserved. And Vincent Dome's half-brother was also convicted in this case for obstruction of justice and tampering with evidence. He did serve some time for that, but has since been released. To this day, Dome continues to claim that he is innocent. If you have any information about this case, call police right now. We're live tonight in Milford. Jessica Schmidt, Fox 19 Now. Ooh. Okay, that was a lot. Now, do you guys believe that the brother had anything to do with it? I mean, he was charged with tampering with, tampering with evidence. Hmm. But I guess he's still trying to plead his innocence. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'm going to read a little something from here. And by the way, this story comes out of Blanchester, Ohio. <clears throat> it says, more than 20 years after her convicted killer was sent to prison, a Blanchester woman is still nowhere to be found. 
Carrie, 22, disappeared on August 28, 1996 in Blanchester. Police said she came home from a volleyball game with friends and then vanished. I never understood. I, I, I never really understood. I never really understood, like, how somebody can just go somewhere and just disappear like that. Like, that's just one thing that's just not sitting on my brain. Like, that's why I always say it's always more to a story. Because, me, honestly, I don't think nobody gonna just vanish out of nowhere. I mean, I don't think so. I would, shit. But nowadays, you never know, though. You never know nowadays. She in her car have never been seen since that day. As the years go by, it remains difficult for Carrie's family and friends to wrap their heads around her disappearance. Her mother, her mother, dad, said that her daughter was truly someone special. She was bubbly, genuine, and fun. Every day it is tough for her and for all of Carrie loved ones, but especially January 31st, her birthday this year, she would have been 45 years old. I feel like Carrie would have accomplished a lot by now, but you still, but you still wonder, said Jamie Smith, Carrie's friend. I wonder how many kids she might have or where she might be in life, what she, what she might look like now. Man. And you know what? I, I wonder that too, because I lost my two-year-old um, son really not long ago, and I still... <laughs> I think about that every day. Like, I wonder if he was still here. What would he look like? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how would he be? Because I still remember the times when he was here. But now it's like... So I understand that. Not long after Carrie disappears, authority pinpointed a man, a main suspect. Carrie's ex-boyfriend, Vincent... I want to say... The, Vincent, known for his violent tendencies, he went on trial for Carrie's kidnapping and murder. Prosecutors did not have a body. See, my my thing is, so I guess it's two suspects, because I guess it's the ex-boyfriend, and then it's supposed to be the brother or something. So, I don't know. It's not really adding up. I don't know. But believe the evidence they had made it worth the risk. It paid off. The boyfriend is currently serving a life sentence without a chance of parole. Carrie friends have seen... Carrie sent friends that seen visible signs of what he had done in the past. So when you know what he had done in the past, you only imagine what he had done that night. That is true. She disappeared, said Deb, which is her mother. Despite the feeling that justice was served in the courtroom. Right. Justice was served in the courtroom. Right. Carrie family and friends cannot help but feel lost because a part of them is missing. Their hearts are no longer whole. I, I can feel that. I don't think my heart will ever be whole again. Because when you lose a loved one, especially a child, something you birth, that shit changed you tremendously. After 23 years, you got to learn to have some peace, but complete peace. That never happened, said Deb. There have been numer numerous searches for Carrie remains throughout the years, but nothing turns up. Though, she, though we would have liked to bring her home and lay her to rest, have services for her, she is what we want, says Smith. The time we lost with her is what is not replaceable. Man. Deb said there have been recent leads in a case involving letters that were discovered inside prisons. I wonder what letters that was. The reason I have hope is because there are so many law enforcement officials who have so much invest in Carrie's case that they won't give up, she said. While finding Carrie would not change what happened to her, it would give her a final resting place that her family believes she has always deserved. Which is, I agree, she deserved to be put to rest the right way. Vincent Right, the half-brother, Tracy Baker, was also convic convicted in a case of obstruction of justice and tampering with evidence. He served time in prison, but has been re The half-brother to this day continues to claim he is innocent. Does this sound a little fishy now? I mean, I don't know. 
I don't know. It sounds really, really fishy. I wonder, let me know what y'all think about this case. I'm going to try to look more into it. Like I said, I was just browsing. I came across and I'm like, wow, it just caught my eye. But this don't sound right. It really don't. So basically it's two, two suspects. They have brother and an ex-boyfriend. I mean, sh the ex, the ex man or husband, whoever he is, he in prison, but the half brother is out. So I mean, it, it don't make this don't it don't make sense. And I'm gonna see if I can find more on this, cause maybe it's me or I'm just slow as fuck. But it's not really adding up to me, you know. Definitely ain't adding up. Yeah, this ain't adding up to me, guys. But this is what I have on this case. Hold on, before I leave, let me know how you guys feel about this case. Let me know if you heard about this case, because I never heard about this case. It's my first time hearing about this case. But it seems very interesting, I can't say. <laughs> but thanks, you guys, for stopping by. Until the next video.